This is an ultrasound study of a 70 years old male. Presenting with the history of uh, jaundice for the last three months. That's all. What the, what the presentation is. So, and uh, the ultrasound shows now in view. In view is the pancreas in transfer section. This is the pancreas in transfer section. This is the splenic vein. So this is the superior mesenteric vein. And this is the splenic vein. Then this is the superior mesenteric artery. And this is the left renal vein passing anterior to the aorta and to the IVC. This is the IVC in transfer section. Aorta in transfer section. This is fluid. This is all fluid. These are bubble segments and the uh, pancreas is normal. We, in dimension, ecogenicity, keeping in view the age of the patient. And this is the longitudinal section uh, of the head of the pancreas The central dot seen is the pancreatic duct. This is the head of the pancreas, this area, and this tiny area, cystic area, is the duct that measures 2.2 millimeter at the region of the head. So this is, there is no focally unseen, this is the aorta. This is spirum with enteric artery arising from the aorta. This is the... Now, this is the superior mid artery in transfer section. When I try to rotate the probe, I can see the portal vein along with its branches. And not only that, I can see the uh, common bile duct. So do it again, let's do it again. This is the superior military artery. From here I am giving a sweep to the probe and I can see the portal vein with common bile duct. This is the duct. This, yes, we know that the duct traverses the, with the portal vein. Now this is the common bile duct. It is not dilated. This, up to this level, the common bile duct is not dilated. Here you can see this is the portal vein, and this is the common bile duct. CBD measures 6.5 up to uh, 7 is considered to be normal. This is the IVC, <coughs> inferior vena cava, and now this is the gallbladder. <coughs> the gallbladder moving within the 
acetic fluid. This is the gallbladder giving striated ball appearance and uh, this, this sort of a picture is seen in patients with uh, ascites in which the ascitic fluid is surrounding the outer surface of the liver and uh, this, is, this black area is all ascitic fluid and this is also and this is the lumen of the gallbladder and this, uh, this structure, sac like area is the gallbladder. No calculus or focal mass region is seen relating to the gallbladder. Walls are thick, appear thick and uh, striated and give a striated appearance because of uh, the significant amount of cytic fluid surrounding it. So gallbladder is okay, clear. What we see here is in the intrahepatic region. Now this is the portal vein. And you will see that there are multiple secular tubular cystic areas communicating with the intrahepatic duct. Now this is the portal vein, this is the intrahepatic duct, and these are all uh, two, these are secular. We do see rounded non-communicating, these are all non-communicating tubular to secular shaped cystic areas uh, all along the intrahepatic uh, bile ducts in both Anji, in the right as well as in the left port row, uh, in the uh, left lobe of the liver. Now the liver is cirrhotic. See the outer surface of the liver. See the glycans capsule. And this is the outer surface of the liver. This is the uh, capsule of the liver. It shows irregularity. And this black area anterior to it is the ascitic fluid that is surrounding its anterior surface. These echogenic areas are suggestive of air in the biliary tree. This is an echogenic area giving combat tail artifact. And this is uh, consistent with air in the biliary tree. So this was a magnified view. Coming back to the normal. Now you see this, that the liver shows irregular surface uh, and uh, diffuse increased parenchymal echogenicity, coarseness and these secular areas and tubular areas are intra dilated intrahepatic bile ducts and this uh, study is very much consistent with the case of Carolis disease though very rare in this uh, age group and uh, with no dilation of the CBD, this is the common bile duct that is uh, running along the portal vein. And the connection can be established between this uh, cystic, uh, this tiny tubular structure in, with the right and left hepatic ducts. These all ducts ultimately accumulate into the non dilated main duct. So in both lobes, this is the left lobe of the liver, you can see the tubular structures, the dilated uh, ducts, tubular dilated intrahepatic bile ducts, all these are tubular ducts. I have magnified the view, thus you, it may appear to be more dilated. Now one interesting thing to note is that uh, 
the depths surround the uh, portal vein radicals in Carolis disease. I don't have the Doppler, otherwise we should have seen a dot sign. But here if you see this segment, this is a magnified view, please keep in your mind. What I am trying to establish and show you is the fact that the cystic directly cystic ducts surround the uh, portal vein radicals in this case and here is I am trying to get some one good view of the portal vein radical surrounded by you have to spend time that increases your knowledge, your maneuvering. Uh, if you see this structure, now the central area is the portal wind radical and here you can see there is a small slit like area this one the central area is the portal wind radical this is the dilated duct it's almost surrounding the duct same is the case here this is the portal wind radical this is the portal wind radical and surrounded by dilated ducts so this is a case of uh, liver cirrhosis with uh, dilated intrahepatic bile ducts at all level, non-communicating, rounded, secular to tubular in shape, reaching the periphery of the liver with no dilation of the common bile duct and uh, no pathology seen relating to the liver. Sorry, no pathology pathology seen relating to the gallbladder rather. I'm sorry. And no pathology seen relating to the com uh, to the pancreas. The duct is normal. Ascites is seen surrounding the outer surface of the liver. And uh, This is a bowel segment. Now, acute recurrent cholangitis is also one of the causes for uh, uh, Carolis disease. This is the spleen. Spleen is not alive. Uh, yes. On eight point. Uh, 9.4 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter and machine got stuck starting again. Now you see that this is the spleen surrounded by a cytic fluid. This is the cytic fluid. This is the hemidiaphragm left, no and this is the splenic pain. This is the... Yeah, this is the splenic pain and these are the bubble segments. The amount of fluid is moderate in amount. This is the... 
have come. You can see the bowels floating in the ascitic fluid. These are bowels floating in the ascitic fluid. This is the urinary bladder. In this area, this is the urinary bladder, and this is the ascitic fluid. Here, the bowel sure. So, this is our case of the day. Thank you.